think um, the oftentimes it's the, the groupings and, and pairings and, and being able to um, find students who can work well together and, and um, support each other because sometimes they, they do well at that and they thrive being able to, to help each other and sometimes it doesn't work as well and you change that. Um, but that definitely the, the groupings and pairings uh, is, a, is a big part of that. In addition to groupings and pairings, I also focus on, uh, in my case with the interpreter in the room, I have to focus on uh, preferential seating for that learner that has that need. And um, fortunately enough, he has uh, a system that allows him to hear learners that are very close to him. So he's able to participate quite easily with the learners around him uh, when we're talking this course. And then we have the sign interpreter for, for the whole class. So. Um, preferential seating as well as grouping. And I think the grouping, just to state a little bit more about that, it, it's really important to try and think about how learners learn and, and who they can learn best from in the class. And I, I find that um, identifying, you know, kind of a, a little group of learners that really work well together and then I can move those kids around throughout the year. And after a period of time you can, uh, of, of, I allow my kids sometimes to self-select who their shoulder partner is just to kind of get a gauge of who are they comfortable working with and if it's working for them academically and also emotionally because if they feel safe with this person then they're going to feel comfortable sharing um, their ideas whether they're correct or incorrect and so um, seating is definitely an important part of that. Um, but I also think that multiple representations lends itself to that. Um, if you're working on a word problem and you're asking the students to show their work um, algebraically um, or, or actually restate it in, in words, the student then has uh, options of, of how they show you their understanding of, of what you're working on. Um, and so the multiple representations, besides the mathematical part, also allows there to be some differentiation, differentiation um, for the students. Yeah, I, I agree with all, I think groupings are really, really important um, strategy for how to, how to address the diversity in the classroom. Um, I also think um, private think time is mm -hmm. really important. Um, I get a lot, like, especially where I teach, there's a lot of students where they, they raise their hand really quick, they know the answer, and then when I ask them why, they have a hard time explaining it. And they'll tell you, they'll tell you to the class, I, I know it, I, I just can't explain it in their own way. So um, I think private think time, giving them time to process it, and then sharing with your partner before they share out, that's made a lot of them more comfortable mm -hmm. with sharing when, they're, when, they're, when maybe language is an issue or something else is an issue.